Hi. Hi. Um, my girlfriend thinks I take strangers too much away from me personally. Or, or personally. But that's why because she's got a really tight pussy. <laughs> <laughs> There's a book called The uh, 1000 Places You Should Visit Before You Die. I read it from cover to cover. It doesn't even mention the hospital. <laughs> As I mentioned, I got up this morning, it's 13 years ago, to the day that I quit being superstitious. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that 4% of women don't know what a statistic is? <laughs> 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 that was getting candy with me. And, well, I like to invent things, I think it's very good for your mind. I came up with a timepiece for the neo-Nazi who was always on the go. The swatch together. <laughs> <laughs> it's been proven that chocolate makes it feel good, especially if you read it while you're having an orgasm. <laughs> um, Men and women are different, everybody knows that, so I'm just going to elaborate. Um, if you get an interview to ask uh, a woman and a man what their perfect way of making love would be, uh, a woman might say, well, we'd be in a, a log cabin, there'd be a storm outside, there'd be a raging fire inside, um, there'd be candles everywhere, um, there'd be a nice Mozart sonata playing in the background, maybe. Um, and we have a few glasses of claret, and then we'd slowly, you know, whatever. <laughs> if you ask a man his ideal way of making love, is, he would say, um, Well, I'm here, I'm me, um, she's her and she's there, and I'm doing this. You know, where are you when you do this? And he's like, well, I'm inside of her. <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, who is it? He says, oh, it doesn't matter. The fuck here. <laughs> so, and he wants to a good interview with, with Pro more, so he says, well, you know, what kind of, you know, what's her face like? And he's like, uh, I don't know, she probably doesn't even have a face. It's just like a killer body with a stump right where I hit you. <laughs> John Lennon once stayed in bed to protest the Vietnam War. Uh, I did something very similar for the Iraqi War. And every local by election since. <laughs> and later on in protests of the way the traveling community is being mistreated, I'm going to have a packet of crisps. <laughs> um, I, advertising really gets my nerves, I find it so broad and generic. Um, you always hear these phrases like, you are amazing. <laughs> and some people watch that and go, really? <laughs> <laughs> um, your body is a fusion of bone, muscle, and grey matter. Would you stop? <laughs> Blaffery will get you everywhere, you giant face and slow big conglomerate. There are a lot of um, police procedures on television, and by a lot I mean too many. I've got a theory on how they're made. Um, the writer gets a fridge and he gets these fridge magnets made up and they've got one word on them, like rape and bullying and necrophilia. And he picks them up and he flings them at the fridge where he's been looking and he jumbles them around and then he uh, takes a look and he reads it says uh, retarded sex being kidnapped to orphan baby and tickles him to bed while listening to Bon Jovi's first album backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's not bad, but I think you've already used that one. <laughs> it was last season's finale. Sorry. Um, so. <laughs> uh, speaking of jokes, I've got a friend who wanted to be a detective. 
And when she had her doubts and she said to me, she said, honestly, Warren, do you think they have what it takes to be a detective? And I said, well, if TV is anything to go by, and if you ask me, it is. To be a successful female gumshi, you need um, a series of tight-fitting outfits, visible nipples, um, a dry, cool wit, a harsh, almost mannish exterior, but a soft underbelly, which one of the male detectives will uncover early in your career. His prize for doing this would be a sharp but passionate love affair, which he will um, bring up every time he wants to undermine your authority. <laughs> now each crime will take roughly an hour to solve. Um, <laughs> um, allowing for three scheduled breaks, during which time you can have a coffee or a cry. The perpetrator will give himself up roughly 45 minutes after you can put on the case. Um, he'll show, he'll have some kind of facial tick um, and blood stains on his clothes. Uh, killers are very angry but often forgetful. <laughs> Hip hop is one of the few forms of expression where the artist is usually more prolific after they've died. You'll see them. Um, uh, on the cover of their album and people will analyse it and it's like uh, that skyscraper wasn't actually built till nine years after he died um, and the gun he's holding is actually the latest and cutting edge used military technology so why the fuck does he have it? <laughs> um, and a lot of times other hip hop artists will eulogise them in their videos which is quite a sweet idea but uh, sometimes it doesn't really work it's, you know they might be singing to the camera and then they speak to the dancers and start bouncing around the place <laughs> Seems uh, a bit distasteful. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, people question is like, what exactly do 16 year old Amazonian girls in half pants being poked with cattle prods have to do with the loss of a very dear friend? <laughs> Language is a thing of beauty, I love it, but uh, I used to find it very confusing when I was a kid. You'd hear these things like uh, petrified wood, and you'd just get this image of a tree going, Please don't kill me! <laughs> I'm only one ring old. <laughs> um, or you'd hear a journalist would say, um, The Gardaí are satisfied that the, um, that the man was murdered, and it's like, Why does that satisfy the Gardaí? <laughs> I thought they were a friend. Are you still Yeah, I'm, I'm not quite nervous enough. But, uh, <laughs> um, I love the ads for porno channels. I think it's especially when the actual actors in the pornos do the adverts. So it's like, uh, looking for a good time, boy. It's like, um, still. <laughs> They'll say, uh, just call this number and quote your credit card. <laughs> but don't confuse your valid prom date with your expiry date. It's a very common mistake. <laughs> <laughs>